Welcome to the video and today I want to share with you three reasons why I think you should be printing more of your own photography. In at number one is that it can be relatively inexpensive. Of course, like with anything, you can escalate that and take it to higher levels, but for a relatively small amount of money, you can choose a fairly basic setup and get a really, really quality result. I recently completed a little project of my own where I wanted to complete a set of photos from my office. I already had two and I just wanted to add one into the mix to make a little trilogy of these types of photos that had a little spice to my office area. Now, I got the whole project done for just 30 pounds. I used an Ikea frame with a mask and I used a print company that do a very, very good quality job, but it wasn't massively expensive. I'll link them all below, but for 30 pounds, I got a really super high quality result, got it all framed up by myself, hung it myself, and within a week, the job was done. So it's also, as well as being pretty inexpensive, a pretty simple thing to do. Secondly, by printing our images, it can make us a better photographer. It makes you think way more about photos that you're taking. If you start printing things, when you go out to shoot next, you'll suddenly think, oh, I better think of that because I want to print this photo. For example, you're going to think about your composition more when you're shooting, your exposure, your focus, make sure all of those details are absolutely nailed. And then when you're editing, you'll be thinking about things like making sure that you remove distractions and that you get the color tones right. All of those details actually just make you think a little bit more about your shot when you're composing it, when you're shooting it, and when you're editing, edit, editing it. Um, so that it looks amazing when you hang it up, you display it and you have it there to show other people and you're looking at it yourself. And I think when you have it hanging on the wall and you look at it yourself, sometimes it will make you just think, oh, I could have done that better. Or I really like that part of it. So I'll do that again. It's just something to get the brain working because we can become a little bit lazy. Maybe I certainly can think, oh, that, you know, that will be okay. And when you post it on something like Instagram, where it's like this big and totally pixelated, Nobody's even looking at those details anyway, but it can make you just sharpen and hone those tools a little bit. And anything that does that, I think, to make us a better photographer is a win-win situation. And final point is more around inspiration and creating memories. To have photos hanging on your wall or perhaps even in a photo book is invaluable. You can't, you can't put a price on that because you will always have memories that are attached to taking photos. Whether they're photos of people, even landscapes, trips, whatever it happens to be, there will be a story behind that photo. And to have it hanging on the wall, it can start off as a bit of a talking piece when people come to your house if you have it hanging up or in your office. You took that photo, there was a story behind that, and it's just a really, really nice reminder of those times. It's a good inspiration to keep you going out there and shooting in this world of digital age where everything just so goes so quickly and it rattles through something like Instagram at the pace knots. You've, everyone's forgotten about that photo, you've forgotten about that photo, and you're on to the next. But when it's hanging there, you're always looking at it and you can always see it and you know, have those memories and get us inspired to get out and shoot again and take more amazing photos. Of course, you can change the photos on your wall, you can make more photo books, whatever it happens to be. But I think just having a physical print that you can hold, you can look at, it really, really adds a bit of emotional value behind the photos and, and you know why we're doing it. And you can look at it, you can admire it, you can see all the detail and hard work that's gone into those images. So I'm very kind of inspired and pumped up on the whole photography quality and story behind it and the art behind making photos at the moment. If you didn't check out my recent video on posting photos on social media, I made one about the new, newish, uh, social media app Vero which you can check out up here and that's something that's really got the juices flowing I think definitely for myself but I can feel like within the, com the photography community as well lots of collaboration and chatting about different photos and settings and locations and it's really got me onto a roll of being excited about photography again so I hope this makes you a bit excited about photography again and makes you excited to maybe print some of your stuff so I do hope you enjoyed this video and you get printing your photos and I will look forward to seeing you 
in the next one. Thank you.